Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and review. Some of you have seen Pastor Joel Olstein, uh, pastor of a mega church in Texas, has resigned, denied the faith. And when you know, when you look at it, this is completely erroneous. It's a doctored report. It's probably purported by some, you know, disgruntled congregant or someone that worked on staff and they're trying to get back at him type of thing. And Reality, friends, is why are we so quick to believe as Christians, or maybe some of you out there are, you know, don't believe in God or et cetera, et cetera, but why are we so quick to believe when we see something bad about somebody and we digest it as truth? Because if you look into it, look into this, the allegations are completely ridiculous. They're erroneous. I believe Joel Olstein, for the most part, is a solid man of God. Is he perfect? Of course he's not. Come on, man. Who here has a halo over your head. The Bible clearly says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And just remember in the Bible, Apostle Paul said, be careful that you do not devour one another or bite one another lest you be consumed. And he's referring to sheep. Sheep in the Bible are people. And, you know, sheep bite each other in the natural. So, you know, that's called Christian cannibalism. The reality is, is why are we devouring each other? Why are we against you know, we've got to be unified because the Bible says unless two are in agreement, not much can be done. So, hey, God loves you. God has a mighty plan for your life the same way he does Joel and Victoria Alstein. I believe he loves the Lord with all his heart, that man, and it's very sincere and on certain subject. Does he come off a little, you know, gray? Well, you know, he does, he's non-confrontational. He does not enjoy controversy. There are some people that like and love to debate, and they just love problems and controversy. But, hey, God has a mighty plan for your life. Don't ever forget it. The scripture that comes to mind, you all know this. Come on, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave and sowed his only son, that if you would believe, receive Christ, you'd not perish, you'd have eternal life. And you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He wants us all to have that insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And, you know, the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me if you've never accepted Christ. And it's not necessarily in reciting the prayer. It's the faith behind it. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Again, that's my response to this whole nonsense where Joel Olstein has resigned. Come on, man. The dude broke, probably worked 10, 12-hour days to erect the facility, you know, just building the house of the Lord. Friends, God loves you. God has a mighty plan. Desire to subscribe to my YouTube ministry video. Go for it.